Hello guys, welcome to the channel again. So I bring you this information about Ghana. So Ghana government want to build 100 hospitals. So that is really massive guys. So who is designing this project is Ajayi. So David Ajayi. For anyone that don't know who David Ajayi is, please do watch my video where I did a deep dive into the amazing story of a Ghanaian British who is a world class architect. So he's the one that is designing this project. So Ajayi associates has revealed its design that will be used for more than a hundred new hospitals in Ghana. The practice is responsible for the designing of 101 district hospitals that form part of Agenda 111, a major infrastructure project to build 111 healthcare facilities. The first of this broke ground in the country's Ashanti region. Commissioned by the Hospital Infrastructure Group on behalf of the Ghana government, Ajayi Associates has planned each district hospital as a single story, 8,500 meter square campus featuring healthcare elements including ward surgery, physiotherapy, diagnostic, and A and E facilities. This primary facility will be supported by other structures such as a mortuary, a laundry, a waste management services, an energy center, a kitchen, and residences for doctors. Something I'm really very happy about is the fact that Ghana is using their human resources. So I'm talking about David Ajayi. You know, David Ajayi is a world-class architect. So if you have a son that is a world-class architect, then do you really need to be going anywhere else to be looking for an architect to design such projects so this is really a great thing i mean david ajayi um is known worldwide he's actually done designing a lot of things in ghana like the ghana national cathedral um you know the 2009 venice had uh, beneville you know he has done really a lot of things and it's really a, a, a kind of like a, a force in um, architecture world and it's really a good thing as well that government is really spending on major infrastructure so like hospital you know health is wealth so that is the way the saying goes so it's really very important for the government to um, to place a high priority on people's health so building this hospital i think is really going to um make life uh, better for everyday Ghanaians and um yeah so it's really going to be interesting to to follow up on this project and see how um where they are doing in terms of implementation so because it's one thing to actually design and it's another thing to actually uh, implement it and then what we're talking about 100 hospitals so that's really massive and um so i hope when this government actually leave um, another government that comes, I hope they can actually continue with that because that's one of the problems again in Africa or maybe worldwide as well. You know, you start a project and want that government leave and another you know government comes into power and they scrap everything or they mess it up. I just hope they won't do that. I just hope that, um, you know, the new government that will come after this one, I hope they will continue because this is not a, a project that we um that can be completed in uh, in one uh, tenure of of government so it will be you know a lot of government we we come in um before that will be completed 100 is really a lot um i hope somebody find this video useful please do share this video if you know somebody that will find it useful thanks for watching and god bless